Welcome back everybody to another LEGO Star Wars video. In today's video I'll be going over my LEGO Star Wars Imperial Army. This is going to be the first army I uh, show on video throughout the year. I'll be having everything from the Clone Army to the Droid Army to the Resistance Army and everything and so on. They'll be every other week. So two weekends from now you guys should expect uh, the next army. Leave your comments down below which one you guys want to see next. But let's get into the Imperial Army guys. There's a total of 144 figures. Um, not including, you know, I've got a lot more Darth Vader's and Palpatine's, but I'm only, you know, having one of each of them on this, uh, you know, army. So 144 figures and 16 uh, sets or vehicles. So, oh uh, yeah, guys, I'll give you guys a quick overview. I have it over here on this uh, side table. It's a pretty big army. You know, there's a lot of stuff in here that, you know, I didn't really think it to be, you know, this big. But, I mean, it, it's pretty big. I mean, I was not really expecting to have over 100 Imperial uh, figures, but I do. So let's get into it, guys. I'll kind of give you guys a backstory and kind of just go over the character. So up here, I've got five uh, Royal Guards with, uh, you know, the newest Palpatine and Darth Vader right there, kind of leading the army. Moving over to the right, guys, we got some Imperial officers. We have, like, Director Krennic up there, a couple um, ATST driver pilots, a couple other officers in the back, and then these two officers wearing those hats up here in the front uh, with Krennic. And then moving over to the right, guys, we have, let's see, three, six, nine, ten ATAT pilots. Got one of the new ones and nine of the, uh, not the oldest, but the ones from like 2010 of that battle pack. Moving over, guys, we have six hover tank pilots. The red one right here is actually a custom painted uh, custom from a fan that actually sent it to me for free a couple years ago, kind of part of fan mail uh, back when that was a thing on this channel. But I have that one, then I've got five regular ones right here. And then I guess I'll just go on to the other side over here. I do have the Chrome Vader and Chrome Stormtrooper had to include those guys in here. They are big ticket items and uh, you know about 200 bucks right there uh, between those figures. And then moving on over here, we have Grand Admiral Thrawn. This is the official Lego one. Uh, leading, I believe that is 4813 Death Troopers. Four of those being the Death Trooper Commander with those uh, pauldrons. And then nine of those being the, um, or actually seven of those being the, um, the regular death trooper so there's that guys moving on behind them we have the inferno squad we have pretty much just one battle pack worth we have uh Aiden verzio i think and then three of the other uh inferno squad troopers right there pretty cool not a bad thing to have moving back we have some pilots we have three of the um kind of episode three kind of early stage uh empire pilots and then we have four of the kind of newer ones um you know just the regular old uh, with the, um, you know, the full helmet enclosed. We have four of them. Moving back, we have three of the old Shadow Troopers. And we do have some, you know, kind of Death Star gunner pilots and some Death uh, Death Star mechanics and stuff like that back there. We have, what's that, seven of them. Moving over to the main bulk of the army, we have 28 regular Stormtroopers with a commander up front to make it 29. Kind of just wearing a uh, pauldron. Kind of leading it. And uh, yeah, we have a big mixture of the original Stormtroopers. Or I guess not the original, original, but like the 2008 through 2000, like 13 or 14 uh, Stormtrooper. We got some Rebels ones over here and then the back. And then we have some, uh, we have one of the new overmolded Stormtroopers, pretty ugly in my opinion. Then we've got a, a handful of the uh, 2016, kind of the favorite uh stormtrooper right there as well so and not too bad you know a lot of plain white stormtroopers and really um you know i've got a decent amount of every single kind you know where i could use it in mocks you know of all sort moving behind them we have two of the patrol troopers right there pretty cool figures to have a couple of then we have seven of the sand troopers we got a couple of the commanders and then four regular sand troopers behind there then we've got seven scarif troopers guys we got three of the lieutenants three regulars and then we have kind of a uh, commander right there wearing a, a waist cape so not too shabby right there pretty cool looks like we have a lot of sevens of stuff you have seven sand troopers seven shore troopers seven of them seven of them um it's quite a lot of sevens so uh there's that guy so moving over we have nine imperial snow uh, snow troopers we have three of the newer kind or actually four of the newer kind and then five of the uh, older kind right there. Then moving behind them, we have some scout troopers. All of the uh, older kind right there, we've got seven of them as well. So another seven. Then back there, guys, we have, we have a couple kind of one-off figures. we got an old Imperial officer, an old Imperial TIE pilot, and then kind of a probe droid for the Empire. 
Moving over, we got a couple customs over here. We have a custom decal 501st uh, Stormtrooper over there. Not too bad looking uh, with the helmet being from CAC and the decals done myself. Then we've got the Emperor Palpatine from the Battlefront 2 campaign. That's a custom, I think, made by Scandrel or Scoundrel's Cantina on YouTube. And also this custom is as well as the, uh, the Ralph McQuarrie concept art Stormtrooper. So there's pretty much that guy. So again, that is a total of 144 figures and again if i'm not you know if i am if i am counting all my darth vaders and palpatines i've got about 150 so i guess i'll count it around 150 imperial um troopers so i guess let's get into the um the vehicles and actually i guess i do have one in, uh kind of like mid imperial like late episode three pilot in emperor palpatine shuttle right there but let's get into the vehicle uh, vehicles guys i'll start off with the land vehicles i have a custom hover tank um, made by Brick Bros UK. It's an alternate build of the real one, which I have one of right there. I've got three ATSTs, or actually, I guess, four ATSTs. I've got the original, like, 2001 ATST. I've got two of the Rogue One ATSTs, and I've got one of the Mandalorian TV show ATSTs right there, which, you know, still technically an Empire vehicle, just kind of modded up and uh, kind of, you know, colored, I guess, differently. But I still count that. Then we have the uh, Planet Series uh, ATST right there. We got a couple Battle Pack. Uh, vehicles we got the battlefront one um thing right there which actually that's a good point i don't know where i put those stormtroopers from the battlefront thing so technically i should have four more i'm not sure where those are i'll hopefully eventually find them when i clean my room uh you know my lego room but that's a good point because i do have the officer right there but i don't i wonder if i sold them or not i'm not sure i don't think i would have but there's that one from battlefront one we have the battlefront two um Inferno Squad Battle Pack. Then we've got one of the Death Star Cannon Battle Packs right there. Then we have also an ATGP sitting in the back. Not a bad vehicle. I really do enjoy it. Which actually, again, I have a feeling I, I should have the the pilot to that. I, don't, I, I think I'm missing a couple Imperials, honestly. So who knows, guys. So I comfortably got about 150 Imperial um, troops. You know, I'm just missing a couple, I guess, which I didn't even know I was. But, you know, looking at these sets, I should have a couple more than what I do. Moving on to the air vehicles over here, about an even split. We have Krennic Shuttle in the middle, pretty cool vehicle right there. We have the 2014 Imperial Shuttle Tidarium. That's a fan favorite. I, of course, want to get the big UCS one, but that's on the list for another time. We have the Rogue One TIE Striker, very, very cool. We have Emperor Palpatine Shuttle, which I count that as an Empire vehicle since uh, he used it technically after the Empire was formed in Revenge of the Sith. And I wouldn't doubt he probably had it for years to come after that. Then we have two versions of Darth Vader's TIE Advance. We have the one from like 2001, I think, or 2000, or I think 1999, right? Yeah, 1999, and then this one is from like 2008, I believe. So pretty cool there. Pretty cool to kind of have the comparison. I really do like the model right here of the TIE Advanced um, for the uh, Darth Vader. So... Oh uh, yeah, guys, I should have a couple other minifigures somewhere around here. I really don't know where they went. Um, but yeah, so that's all the built stuff. And then again, if you really want to get nitpicky and count some of the... Um, well, actually, I guess technically I've got a sealed TIE Fighter right there. I do have the built UCS TIE Fighter. I did kind of forget to bring that over there, but I don't know. I don't really count that. Um, so yeah, I think that's basically it, guys, uh, for the Imperial Army. Uh, aside for just a couple other sealed sets, like I've got a sealed battle pack up there, sealed 2014 shuttle, uh, sealed tie interceptor up there. So I've got a decent amount of, you know, sealed Imperial stuff as well. Uh, Imperial dropship battle pack. I've got more, you know, battle packs from other stuff. You know, I've got a patrol trooper battle pack. Um, I've got the Inferno squad battle pack. So I've got a very good variety of... Uh, Stormtroopers, I feel. I'm, I'm very happy with this army, honestly, after, you know, kind of taking it out and looking at it. I'm very happy with it. I'm satisfied. Um, of course, it's going to keep on growing bigger and bigger. And, uh, yeah, well, thank you guys all for watching. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, leave your comments down below what army you guys want to see next. It'll be coming out two weekends from now. And see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Save 5% off on your next LEGO purchase. Be sure to use code LIFEBRICK. Uh, that's capital L-I-F-E BRICK at republicbricks.com for 5% off your next order. We'll pretty much pay for your shipping or get you a couple dollars off. They sell old Lego minifigures, sets, mystery boxes, and more. I've got a couple videos on my channel uh, showing the products, uh, so be sure to use code LIFEBRICK on your next order for 5% uh, for off.